why does it look so weird around here? Why is it so distorted? So I've always wanted to find the most northern piece of land that you can see on Google Earth. And from just looking at it, it's not super obvious. You might have seen videos of Svalbard and Longyearbyen, uh, but it's not there. And you might think it's somewhere up in Nunavut, Canada, one of these islands. Maybe it's one of these remote Siberian islands. I just covered the DeLong Islands recently, but it's not that either. It's actually this point way, way north Greenland. So the point we're looking for is called Kafaklubben, and it is the most northern island in the world. Now, when I was zooming in, I was wondering, why does it look so weird around here? Why is it so distorted? Well, I'll get to that in a moment, but just how far north is this? This is at 83 degrees north, which nothing even comes close to. Longyear bends at about 78 degrees north. Um, if we want to look in the South Pole to see how far north that truly is, it would be around here on the South Pole. So really, really deep into Antarctica. Uh, very, very remote. Not really anyone lives up here. There's a few communities like Alert Canada, which is more of a military base. But almost everyone in Greenland lives in the southwest corner where the climate is a lot more moderate compared to way up here. Anyways, let's zoom back in. So the reason this is distorted from what I've read is because there's just not enough satellites to go through this area. Satellites usually have a rotation that goes around the major parts of the world where most people live. And to get a satellite way up here in the north, it's really difficult. Just not enough interest on developing Google images of these areas. So let's take a look at actual images of people on the island. So here's a picture of what Kaffa Clubbin looks like. So it's really just a deserted, empty island with really nothing going on human activity wise, but there are probably polar bears and other animals in the area. And Google Maps does have a few pictures of it. Here's a pretty blurry picture. Here's another one of what it looks like on the ground. And here's another one. So very empty, not much going on. But is this really the most northern piece of land in the world? Maybe not. So there actually are a few disputed pieces of land that are even farther north in this area. Let's go to the Wikipedia list of northernmost point of land. So Kafaklubben is down there a bit, but there are around seven more places that could be considered the most northern piece of land. The problem with these is a lot of these are not confirmed to be permanent. So one of these is Udayak. Sorry if I mispronounced that, but... It was a gravel bank that was supposedly floating around this area. And it's really hard to consider a floating gravel bank a piece of land when it's not even permanent. As you go up the list, you get to weirder and weirder places. So there's the ATOW, which is the American Top of the World Expedition, that found this random island. And it's just a 10 meter long and 1 meter high, also gravel bank, way out here in the middle of nowhere. People have made it to these islands and looked at them, but it's still inconclusive. The weirdest one of all, I think, is 8342. This was discovered back in 2003 by Dennis Schmidt, and it's really bizarre. So this is what 8342 looks like. It's this weird, rocky hill that's pretty close to Greenland's mainland here, but it's really hard to tell what's going on on this island. I mean, it's only a few meters wide. These people had to walk across sea ice a long ways to get to it. Um, not sure if it's connected to the actual seabed or if it's floating on ice chunks and it's just a bunch of rocks and gravel that have washed ashore. So what do you guys think is the most northern piece of land? Is it the Kaffa Clubbin or is it one of those floating gravel islands? Or is there something else completely that we're all missing that actually is considered the most northern piece of land in the world? Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy this one as well in the bottom left corner. Thanks.